Hey everybody. Let me see. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Y'all just woke up. Oh my god. Hey Kiki. Oh wait, I'm be I'm behind already. Hey Miss Cleveland. Hey Marva. Y'all, I'm so far behind. You send me a message on Facebook, Emotion, I'm going to have to check. Oh, man, y'all, I am just waking up. Oh, I wanted to show y'all that the, the, I redid the shirt. I forget who it was. They said make the crown gold. And then, you know, so I made the crown gold. I don't know if y'all can see it. Can y'all see it? Let me pin y'all down some. Can and I think it was up a little high, but uh, somebody said they like where it's positioned, like right sitting on top of, you know, instead of sitting, you know, sometimes the designs go up under, up under there. So I, I think, oh, thank you, uh, Miss Millet. So I think it was pretty, it, it's pretty good. This was a test shirt. So I get this shirt. This was a test one. Thank you. De Look, Deborah, you know it, baby. Down to, I know, I now have my eyebrows down to a T, thanks to you. All right, Miss, uh, wait, I don't forgot. But see, y'all, I'm just waking up, Miss Roberts. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, Dana. I see you, Kathy, in Dallas. Miss Val, you weren't affected by Hurricane Laura. Girl, I'm in Kansas. Hurricane Laura ain't messing with me. Not all the way in Kansas, baby. Look, y'all, but I am finna go back to Texas on uh, Saturday morning. But I'm only gonna be there if just to turn around. I just wanna check my house, you know, make sure everything okay. Check my P.O. box. Uh, I pay my gas and my light bill, y'all. Pay my rent and stuff. And then I'ma shoot right back down here. So, no, I wasn't affected by it, Mary. What'd she say? You want some music, please? Good to see you all. Oh, thank you, Anita. Your mom enjoyed her birthday. Yes, Dakota, she did. Good morning, Anita. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all, I could not tell. I couldn't say nothing, y'all, about the party. You know, the, the few times I did go live. The few times I did go live since I've been here. I couldn't tell y'all about the party because it was a surprise for my mama. And she be watching my videos. How you do? Hey, Robin. Do you live in Texas? Yeah, I live in Texas, Jamie. What a lovely party you had for your mom. Oh, thank you, Paulina. Look, y'all. No, T, I'm not finna stop smoking. <laughs> and this is my first cigarette of the day, y'all. This is the important cigarette. This is the cigarette that puts me in the moods that I be in. <laughs> You in Dallas? Yes. Well, no, Dakota, that wasn't a surprise. That wasn't a surprise. That was not the surprise. But I will say I got a surprise coming. And listen, don't nobody, don't nobody, uh, don't nobody, um, know the surprise. I need some of your brushes and your foundation. You could order the foundation. Uh, is that Sharonda? Sharonda? The foundation is on there. And y'all, uh, see, people don't be... The only time somebody buys something is when I go live. Y'all don't even know. I done added lashes to the website. The Jadas is back. See? There's some people that do check the website every now and again. Okay? And uh, they done snagged up most of the Jadas. Oh, thank you, Gigi. I see you in Iraq. Hey, Nor. So y'all better ch be y'all gotta check the website every now and again. You from Houston? Is everything okay? Austin, Texas is safe. I have family there. Okay, Kathy. Sharon, y'all know I got brushes, but they in Texas. And then all my kids came down here, y'all. And I told I told Mangy. Bring my brushes and bring my wigs. 
He forgot the brushes and he forgot the wigs. <laughs> Y'all, look. Hey, Nicole. Good morning, everybody. Y'all, he just... You just started watching you, and I love watching you do your... Oh, thank you, Whitney. I'm not doing makeup today, y'all. Today, I won't... Since I haven't did a talk, we're going to do a talk. All the gypsy is gone again. Yes, Nicole, and I'm finna... Um, I'm waiting on my order to come in. Girl, I ordered, like, August 7th. Hey, in Louisiana. And, and I don't understand why I ain't got my stuff. Really? Your first time seeing me live? The website is pinned below, uh, Miss Manuel. It's a VLTBeauty.com. Did you have a good time? Oh, Miss Colleen, yes, we did. And we tried to get my mama's friend to bring her to the place by telling her, you missed the talks, Karen? We couldn't have one today. Uh, by telling her that uh, she wanted to take her out to lunch for her birthday. But mama, no, mama didn't want to go. So we had to have my niece do it. Hey, Tyronda, can you tell us the meaning of your t-shirt, Miss Val? What you mean the meaning of it? It explains itself. My melanin stay dripping. Hey, Yvonne. And it has to, because I'm black. Miss Val, the mall is super slow. Oh, the mail, the mail is super slow. But girl, usually I don't, I get my orders faster than that. It usually take like two weeks. Because it's just coming from California. Don't forget that they are messing with the mail. Girl, I, yes, I forgot about that. Girl, they trying to stop that mail. Well, look, when they see VLT Beauty on something, they better let it come through. <laughs> they need to turn it loose. You know how people say, you know how people say they, they, uh, they, uh, how you say it? You know the young people, they be talking, they fly, they, they, this, they, 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 what is it? What's the word I'm looking for, y'all? They they coolness is dripping or whatever. What was your niece standing? Was that your niece standing beside your mother at the party and by the nice and by the way, a nice party. Which niece you talking about though? Uh that was my niece, but that was my niece's daughter. So that was my great niece. But that that little girl you seen standing next to my mom now. That girl is, that's not a child. That that girl finna be 23 years old. She just real small. She just real small. Trying to fix the election. I was so surprised, Miss Val, when I won my gift from you. It arrived all the way to Pennsylvania in only three days. See, Margaret, I'm glad. I'm so glad, Margaret, and I hope you enjoy it. I think your mom was very happy. She was, Sonia, and she was crying. Everybody was crying and boohooing. You love the shirt. Thank you. Miss Val, nothing like a cigarette and a cup of coffee. Look, Kathy, you hear my voice ain't even. I'm telling y'all, I just woke up, put the coffee on, brushed my teeth while the coffee was dripping, and then I got on the line. I said, I miss everybody. I miss everybody, y'all. I miss everybody. But y'all, we got to have a talk, okay? Yes, Lily, cheers. Cheers to the morning cup of coffee, y'all. And then what make it so bad, I woke up, shoo, shoo, gone. Done left me. Didn't wake me up, say, Val, you want to go? Or didn't say nothing. Shoo, shoo, just left me. I get mail maybe two or three days a week. Wait, what? Two or three days a week? Hey, my sweet Amy. Yes, yes. Yes, Karen, everybody came down. All my kids, all my sister's kids, all the nieces, the nephews. We came from all over the place, baby. Are you looking for the word swag? Yes, yes. Who, who said that? Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn. Evelyn, you know how they say they swag is dripping or they dripping with swag or something like that. Say, I'm dripping in melanin. 
My melanin stay dripping. Yes, baby. That's what I... Thank you for that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all, who ready to talk? I love you too, Robin. My sweet Amy. I take this thing everywhere I go. Y'all know mama be dragging me to bingo. Y'all know I don't like bingo. Look, y'all, now I'm starting to like bingo. <laughs> I'm going to bingo. Manual. Manual, you need to message me. I be seeing you love the eyeliner. Thank you, Linda, Rita. I be, I be uh, seeing your post, Manual. Oh, thank you, Paulette. I be dragging this everywhere I go, and people be asking me about this, my sweet Amy. I have, what she say? I see you have lipstick, but do you have lip gloss? No, no lip gloss. You love bingo? M Miss Ali? Oh, she said, let's talk. Okay. Look, Trisha, mama, look. Mama, mama, mama love her some bingo, okay? And when she goes, she wins. I be sitting up there dabbing, struggling all hard, and if somebody bingo, I be looking at my cards like, Mama, did I win? I think I won. <laughs> yeah, I be thinking I won. Don't be the one nothing. I get mail. You get mail every day? Hey, Naomi, will the, will the eyeshadow palettes come back? Dana? I have five eyeshadow palettes on the way. And it's only five. And it's the neutrals, like my naughty neutrals. And it's only five. But I had to order it from a different distributor. But so that means there's only going to be four available. Because y'all know I take one to try out for myself to make sure the stuff is right. Because I don't want to. Just get something and throw it at y'all. You know what I mean, Miss Dana? I want to be able to try it first. See if it, you know, if it's crumbling, if it's got a lot of fallout and stuff like that. That's why I want to get to the point where Margaret, Mama did. Uh, I want to get to the point for VLT Beauty where I can go to the actual company and formulate my own formula for the eyeshadow but y'all that's that's way down the line for VLT Beauty you got a black one too and Mel B it's not that I want the makeup you know I don't want it but I want to make sure it's right for y'all you haven't been since the virus Vicky they only let a certain amount of people in the bingo and you're only uh they like to have one person at this end one person at this, like Caddy Wonkers, Kitty Wonkers, however you say it, at the bingo, like that. But me and Shushu just sit at a table together. I hate bingo also. <laughs> Your mother would drag you too, Deborah. Hey, Nora. I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm trying to smoke, finish my cigarette before we... Uh, she said b <laughs> Hey, Asia. Where can I get makeup? Where to order? Mary, the website is pinned below. It's called VLTBeauty.com. And y'all, I also put a few more uh, unmistakably flawed shirts on the website. All the shirts that I put on there are 3X. And uh, there is still, a, I think, a small, a small one. But I put the some of these. The, this time they got the gold. They got the gold. And uh, the other ones are unmistakably flawed. You went last night and didn't win. Hey, Hawaii. Good morning, Kim. Okay, my cigarette done, y'all. Let me get my voice ready. Because <clears throat> we've been to talk, baby. I, what I want to talk about... Okay, can y'all see me? Val, do you see any of my messages? I seen that one. My mom's doing good, Hawaii. Good morning, sis. I quit smoking in 1999, and you can too. I don't want to. Um, um, 
Today, I, what I wanted to talk about today, good morning, Tasha, is um, it's, it's going to be a couple of things blended together, okay? It's going to be a couple of things. Good morning, everybody. So we're going to get everybody's morning on, on, on uh, 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 started good this morning. That's what, yeah, y'all, my hair jacked up. I took my bun off, so now I got left with this little, little rabbit tail up here. Um, but I want to, it's, it's going to kind of go into forgiveness a little bit, y'all. Okay. But we have to understand as a person, huh? Shoo, shoo. Hold on, y'all. Shoo, shoo at the door. I got to open the door, y'all. Hold on. Where's Sophie? Outside. Oh. Why was y'all sitting outside and did y'all go somewhere? We went and talk. Oh. We went. I thought y'all left. Yeah, now we had the clean Oh. I said I told him you left me early this morning. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. And y'all, I'm gonna use myself as an example, okay? Let's say let's say I did something. I did something bad, y'all. You know, I'm, you know, you regret it. You feel bad. Your your, your loved ones forgive you. You know, cause they love you. You know, they love you. You turn around. You do the same thing. Because. In your mind, what you think, and I'm taking my glass off, y'all, because I don't want to read no comments. Because in your mind, you're thinking, okay, they love me, they're going to forgive me. So I could do what I want to do, and they're just going to keep forgiving me, right? But then when you do it, you still feel bad, right? So here's my thing, y'all, I want to talk about. And maybe somebody could give me an answer. Maybe somebody could help me out. You know your family love you. Your friends and family members. But you keep hurting them. Right? You keep hurting them. So at what point does the family member say, hey, no more? Or at what point does the person say, you know what, I'm hurting my family. And if, if I'm hurting my family or my friends and my loved ones, then I'm hurting myself. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all, a lot of people don't think like that. They don't think that if they're hurting a family member or a loved one, then it's going to hurt them inside. At least it should. At least it should. Okay? And at one point, is the, is, is the person going to say, you know what? I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to hurt my loved ones. Let me look inside of me and see what's going on. Let me see what I'm doing wrong. You see what I'm saying? So that was that was just my question. Like what do you do as a person, as the loved one? If you're the loved one that's hurting people and keep hurting people, what do you do? Or what what do you do? If you're the person on the other end, what do you do? Because y'all at the end of the day, Y'all, we can't throw people away. We can't throw people away. We can't do it. Some people do. Is, is, is that the time in your life where you love somebody at a distance? Is that what that is? Or do you just cut them out of your life? 
Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all, we have to take accountability for our own actions, okay? And these young kids need to understand that. And sometimes some of the older people need to understand that. We have to take accountability for our own actions, for the things that we do, okay? And sometimes if you have to stop and think about what you finna do before you do it, and think about, well, okay, if I do this, this and this and this and this gonna happen, this person, this person, this person gonna be hurt. Think about it first. Think about the love you have for the people that you finna hurt. Okay? Y'all, sometimes we have to stop. Because y'all, sometimes we're going, boom, we're going fast, ain't we? We're going fast, ain't we? Sometimes we're going fast. Y'all, sometimes we have to stop and think about what we're doing because there's going to be consequences. Some may be good, some may be bad. But y'all, think about what you're finna do before you do it. Okay? And think about who you're going to hurt. Or if it's something good you're doing, think about how proud you will feel of your, you will be of yourself. Think, okay, let's sit here and think. Let, let, let's think like a kid. You give a kid his dinner plate. He eat his food, he eat his broccoli, he eat his spinach, he eat his chicken or whatever, you know. Mama, I made it, you know, we, in, in my house for Chayden, we call it a happy plate. Mama, I made a happy plate. So he's proud, y'all. The kid is proud because he knows that that's a good, a good thing to do. Y'all understand what I'm saying? He feels proud. Y'all, we need to do things that make ourselves feel so proud. Be proud of yourself. Be prideful in the things that you're doing. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Is that Betty? Miss Davis? Y'all, you have to be prideful in what you're doing. Because let me tell you why. If you, don't, if you don't have pride in what you're doing, guess what? You don't care about it. You don't care what the outcome is. You don't care about that. <clears throat> y'all, because if I didn't take pride in coming on here talking to y'all and, 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 and having my uh, makeup on VLT Beauty, I wouldn't test the makeup. I'd just throw it out there to you. You see what I'm saying? Here, let, let's give them this. Let, let, let me sell them this real quick. You see what I'm saying? It don't work like that. Because I have pride in what I'm doing. I have pride in what I'm doing, y'all. So that way, when I do something good, not only am I proud, I'm sure somebody out there proud of me. You know, e even if it ain't all the way 100, they give me the, the, they proud of me for trying my best. For trying my best. You see what I'm saying? And and, and knowing that I didn't just, mm, okay, there, that situation's over. Mm, okay, there, that situation's over. You know, y'all don't handle yourself like that. Handle yourself like you handle a newborn baby. With care. With love. With affection. You handle yourself like that and guess what, baby? The outcome is going to be amazing. When you handle yourself like that, when you care for yourself, when you have pride in yourself, you're you going to see. And, and let me tell you something. You're going to be so proud of yourself. You ain't going to, you ain't, people going to be proud of you. And you ain't going to even know because your head like this, baby. You proud, you walking. Mm-hmm, baby. I'm proud of myself. You, you know, just a grinning. Skinning and grinning, baby. You gone, right? And then all these people going to notice the goodness. And they're going to be like, wow, look at that. Yes, girl, go ahead. I'm proud. You know? Y'all, we got to do it. That's how we got to treat ourselves. We have to treat ourselves good in order to treat other people good. Okay? We have to. We have to. So, y'all, every morning when I get up, I take my coffee time. Usually my coffee time, see, my coffee cup is still still full. I don't know if y'all can see it. My coffee time is my time. 
But see, I'm having coffee with y'all this morning, but that's okay. You know, I, I bent the rule a little bit. But usually my coffee time is, that's what I call my me time. I usually sit outside on the, on, the, on the patio, nothing, no phones, no nothing, and just sip my coffee. I mean, I have my phone there in case my mama called or something, but just sipping my coffee, smoking my cigarettes, getting my mind ready for the day, okay? Thinking about what I'm going to do today to make myself proud, okay? To make myself proud. Yes, honey. Skinning and grinning. <laughs> Margaret. She said skinning and grinning. I just ordered me. You just ordered you a black t-shirt. Our own actions. I'm tired of forgiving people over and over again. The family hurting over and over again. Yeah, you cut them off. It's better off than with my kids on there. But let me tell you something about that. I will forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. But there's a point where I will say, I'm going to love you from a distance. You see what I'm saying? It will only work itself out when the receivers and givers of the hurt come to a point where they take responsibility for all actions and realize the effect and repercussions of their act. You're absolutely right, Tanya. Oh, you having coffee with me, Dina? Good morning, Vernetta. You watch me at work? Your family said you was dead to them? Wow, Della. So, y'all, we, we have to... We have to do things, and and this it, some of y'all gonna hate what I'm finna say because some of y'all can't do it. Some of y'all can't do it, and I'm finna say it. We have to do things for ourselves. That's it, and it sounds so simple, don't it? But you know what? A lot of people can't do it. A lot of people cannot do something for themselves. That's you, team, you too, Margaret. You, you know what, Margaret? Yes. A lot of people. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, I forgive and forgive and forgive. But, but, but don't think I ain't, I ain't forgetting, okay? I still remember. Hey, niece. I remember and I will treat you accordingly. Okay? You see what I'm saying? I can still love you. I can still love you. But I will still treat you accordingly. Let me give you an example, okay? Of what I'm talking about, baby. And y'all don't be in, me and my analogies, y'all, but I this is just what I think of, okay? I got two shirts, okay? Let's say I got two shirts. Y'all, one of them is cute. It's all nice and it's purdy and, and girl, I love my shirt, okay? Girl, I got another shirt. Got a hole under the arm you know, got food stains on it, but baby, that shirt's so comfortable, girl, and I love that shirt. But you have to treat those shirts accordingly, okay? You know, the, the nice shirt, you'll wear it out. You'll go to the store. You'll go to bingo. You know, you'll go where you got to go in your cute shirt, and you love that shirt. But baby, when you get home, you're going to grab that shirt with the food stains and the hole in the arm. Because you love that shirt too. But you're going to treat it accordingly. You see what I'm saying? You're going you gonna to treat it accordingly. You ain't going to wear that shirt outside to the store or to the bingo. Because you know that ain't right. That ain't, that's not it. That's not the fit. Okay? That Yes, baby. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes. Yeah, Kizzy, I'm telling you. That's how it go. I love her name. Her name Mel B. <clears throat> you got that, that kind of shirt, my sweet Amy? And see, Amy, that's how we got to treat people in our lives. But we still love them. We just have to treat them accordingly. Okay, what's up? Mm, I almost said. 
I, you almost got my live turned off, Ella. We have to treat them accordingly. Okay? Why do family hurt you so much, Val? Karen, I think sometimes, and this is just my thought, I don't think family members mean to hurt you. Sometimes they do. It all depends on the I don't know your situation. Uh, sometimes they don't mean to. Sometimes they don't mean to. But you have to know when they just being evil and when they, or when they misunderstanding things, Karen. You have to know the difference. Yeah, we have to treat people accordingly. You needed to hear this, Sandra. You know what, y'all? I just hadn't talked to y'all in so long. And I wanted to have a little talk. And maybe help somebody get a little bit of understanding. If they going through. Call me call me after the live. Okay. It just say unmistakably flawed. Who I'm calling? <laughs> Who I'm calling? It's a lot of families of jealousy. Yes. Am I back home? No, Elizabeth. I, I'm going to go back home uh, Saturday. But it, it's going to be a turnaround. And you know what, Margaret? You're right. We do. Because you're the closest one to him. You know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. I, I used to have coffee and cigarettes in the morning when I was younger. And me too when I was younger. And I'm having them still when I'm older. <laughs> I just, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just lost my grandson. And they don't understand mental health. Now, I can't see my granddaughters due to my son's girlfriend's lies. Wow, Karen. Uh, Karen, uh, Karen, I remember, uh, oh, see, you didn't live in the United States, did you, Karen? I don't think so, but grandmothers have rights, too, you know. That's all I'm going to say. Grandmothers have rights, baby. Are you going to reveal your blessing to us, Ms. Val? Not today. Not today. Some people push you away by being overbearing not accepting who you are. Yeah, Kizzy, they do sometimes. They get mad at the wrong person. Yeah, Mel B, that's a good combination. Y'all, I just wanted to maybe help somebody out this morning. Because with this coronavirus, everybody being locked up, you know, emotions running high. I said, well, you know, when families really uh, tighten it in the house. So I said, yeah, that's right. You live in the UK. Yeah, I remember. Oh, thank you, Valerie. And I said, you know, I know it's some family members out there who is going through it. You know, arguing with each other a little bit more than normal. You know, getting on each other's nerves a little bit more than normal. You know, because everybody's stuck in the house. You know what, Tanya, that's for some people. But let me tell you something. But you're absolutely right. Me, Tanya, me, I would wear my shirt. And that's only because I don't fear judgment from other people. Because I love myself and I am who I am. You know, if, if, if you're that person. To just, you know, because y'all, I go somewhere in my pajamas. Y'all know that. And I won't have no shame. Because, just because. That's what I feel like wearing that day. But y'all understood what I was saying though, right? But you absolutely right, Tanya. Some people, 
But see, here's the thing, Tanya. When people fear judgment, it, you would think it would alter things. For some people, it does. But what about when you do something knowing and in your mind fearing the judgment, fearing the judgment, but you do it anyway? But you do it anyway. But so you still got to love that family member, right? You still got to love them. You still got to love them. Even if it's from a distance. Even if it's from a distance. Good morning, sweetheart. Here from, from Florida. Good morning, Norma. It stunts the growth, fear, and judgment. Ms. Val, I have a shirt. That has a hole in it. And it says because I'm happy. Because I'm happy. I wear my whole. My holy shirt out. I don't care. <laughs> People can always get mad at me. Because although I'm a good person. I'm the voice of truth. And no one wants to hear the truth. And you know what Beverly. That's all you can do. Is be, be truthful. Be honest. Let people know. And loving your words. I wish I could be there living there. There. Yes, Miss Brown, because you know what, Miss Brown? I know a lot of people going through things. And and sometimes they just sitting back. What is that? Kimberly, what is that you put up there? I'm going to go back through there and see what that is. Because if you have, what, I don't know what she advertising on there. Is it something good? I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know what it is. Bad people don't want, always want to hurt, hear the truth. And you know what, a lot of times they don't want to hear the truth. But you know what, you have to tell the truth. You have to tell the truth. Naomi sending prayer. Naomi. Read Naomi comment. Where's Naomi? Because let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. I can't find it. Let me tell y'all something. Yes, yeah, some people do want to see you fail. But you know what the best thing to do? Is don't fail. Don't fail. Because let me tell you something, y'all. With, with all this corona going on and everything, y'all, there is a lot of people. A lot of people. You know, they go into that dark place. They go into the dark place. But, y'all, let me tell y'all something. We, we have to keep our head above water, even if it's just right to the bottom of your lip, baby. Okay? Even if it's to the bottom of your lip. And you struggling to hang on, baby, hang on. Because there will always be better days, I'm telling you. And y'all, we have to understand. This is what we have to understand. There's a lot of depression going on. There's a lot of suicide going on. I can't see the comments, y'all. There's a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety, a lot of, a lot of suicide. Y'all, those things are friends. They go hand in hand. We done talked about this before. They go hand in hand, okay? Yeah, we have to figure out something within ourselves to where, you know, l l let's say in your mind, you down in that deep, you in the dark spot, okay? Baby, you got to find you some building blocks to climb up out of there. Okay, you have to. Okay? Y'all, I'm telling y'all, right now in today's time, Today's what we're going through right now. What everybody going through. Y'all, it's hard. It's hard for anybody. So just imagine a teenager or a child. Y'all, we have to love ourselves enough to just hang in there and be okay with ourselves. Okay? Be okay with yourself. If you mess up, analyze the mess up. 
understand that you messed up. Okay? And just try not to make that same mistake again. But stay on your journey. Don't get off track. Y'all, when, you, when you're going through life on your journey, it's going to be all kind of, ooh, take this shortcut. Maybe if I go this way, I... No, stay on your path. Stay on the path you, you own. Understand what's at the end of that journey. Whatever you after down there at the end. Okay? Understand that. Because you can get knocked off track real quick. You can get knocked off track real quick. With, with, uh, with, with ungodly thoughts. With, with people being negative. All of that. People, people, people being mean to you. Y'all, sometimes all it takes is words. People don't understand. People don't understand. Words could hurt you just as bad as, as somebody shooting you with a gun. Okay? And people need to understand that. But y'all, some people got slick tongues. They slick about the mouth. But you know what? You got to have your love, your self-armor. That's what I'm going to call it. Love yourself armor. You got to have that on. And them slick words ain't going to hurt you. Okay? All the, all the evilness they doing out there ain't going to hurt you. Love yourself enough to not let these kind of things, things uh, get you in that deep, dark space. Love yourself enough for that. What's she say? Yes, we do love ourselves. Don't wait for an affirmation from anyone. Your own affirmation is all you need. Self-love. That's right, Michelle. And that's what I wanted to say today. Because I ain't been on here in a minute, y'all. Absolutely love but with the understanding that everyone is unmistakably flawed. And when you accept and realize that, then hopefully people will refrain from judging. That's right. And even if they judge Tanya, let them judge. Because who are, who are we to judge anybody else? Everybody got flaws. You're you right. Everybody got flaws. So how are we going to judge somebody else when we standing there with a flaw, baby? Mm -mm. You can't judge me. I mean, you can if you want to. But that, that ain't going to get to me. Because I know who I am. You see, you understand what I'm saying? That's the thing people need to understand. Nah, let the window down. I got the air on. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. I got to turn the window down. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I do the best I can. You judge me if you want to. And you know what? And, and, and I'm going to say this. And, and I'm going to say this. And this is for real. This is being honest. When somebody judge me, you know what? I, I, I consider it like constructive criticism. And then I take it and I analyze it and see if I can use it for myself. You see what I'm Hey, Robert! And see if I can use it for myself. That's what you do with that. And if you can't use it, then that, that's your thought. That's your ugly, nasty thought. You see what I'm saying? That ain't mine. That's not my thought. Mm-hmm. My coffee done got, got cold. Hey, Australia. Ms. Val said something about suicide. Ms. V, I need to hear this map. Oh, and see, Marquita, that that then I did I did my job today when I came on. Long as there when when I do my talk show, long as one at least hey Margaret, at least one person. Oh, Ms. Val, I needed to hear that today. See, then that's good. Uh, 
Okay, I'm reading the comments. Somebody having some trouble somewhere. Naomi. I think Naomi's having trouble. And I missed her all her I missed her comments. Because I see people talking to Naomi. Okay. So guess what? Can't nobody judge you. Can't nobody judge you. Unless they standing there with a halo over their head, baby. And that's the honest to God's truth. Miss Val, I thought you had blocked me. No, Deborah. <laughs> Unless they standing there with a with a halo over their head. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I see something. It says, I've been contemplating killing myself for a very long time, but my parents are still alive, and my children will never forgive me, but I don't know how long I can go on. Naomi. Okay, now I see what she wrote. I'm, I'm, I don't see no comments, y'all. I took the comments away, because I'm going to leave her comment up here, because I want to address little parts of her comments. I don't know if she's still on here. I've been contemplating killing myself for a very long time, but my parents are still alive. Okay, so that means, Naomi, are you living for someone else? Even if it's your parents, and your children will never forgive me. So, does that mean, okay, I can see the comments now, but I'm way behind. Sounds like, Naomi, you're living for somebody else. Okay, your whole life is, your life is surrounded it, or is centered on someone else. Yeah, we can't live life like that. We can't. We can't. And let me tell you why. Because then we'll end up with thoughts like that. And that's because when we're here... Y'all, we have to live for ourselves, and that's and that just goes into the same thing, y'all. As I be saying, you cannot love yourself unless you love somebody else, and, and you cannot, you can't. And, and people get mad at me when I say that, but you can't, because and I'm gonna say it again because I've said it plenty of times before. If you don't love yourself, you can you're not giving your best self to the person who you love. Now, if you love yourself, then you're giving them the best possible you you can give them. Okay? Now, Naomi, if you want to stay alive for your parents or for your children, then you have to love yourself. You would have to because you want them to have the best. And if you want them to have the best, give them the best you. Give them the best you that you can give them. Which would have to include you loving yourself. You accepting yourself as is. Okay? And I say it as is. Okay? Because no one's perfect, baby. Ain't nobody perfect. It has to be as is. Okay? You have to. That's why we're unmistakably flawed, Naomi. Because we all flawed. Ain't now person on here perfect. And if, and, and if you think you're perfect, baby, you're on the wrong page. You're on the wrong page. Because you have to love yourself if you think you're loving somebody else. Okay? If you love somebody, you want them to have the best, don't you? Don't you, Naomi? Baby, if you want your children to have the best, Give them the best mother. Okay? Which in turn, girl, gives the best hugs when you love yourself and you understand yourself. You have accepted your flaws. You have accepted the things that you may have done in the past. Understand that that's in the past, baby. And all you can do is move forward and don't make the same mistake again. Okay? And love yourself. Because then... Guess what? When you hug your daughter, it's going to be just a little bit tighter, maybe a little bit longer. 
when you hug your son, y'all, I still hold Mandy's hand in public. He taller than me. People be, girl, that's your husband? No, that's my son. Okay? Because I'm, going, I'm giving them the best me that I can now. I didn't, I, I didn't used to before, Naomi. Y'all, I stopped the comments. I didn't used to before. Because I wasn't able to. You understand what I'm saying? Because I didn't love myself. So I wasn't able to. Okay, I'm, a, I'm skipping all the comments. Okay. Now, I don't know if she was still on here or not because I had took all the comments away. Good morning, lovey. Um, I'm finna go. I'm at 125 Concealer and 133 Foundation. Please show me how to order. Elizabeth, the website is vltbeauty.com. If you touch that pen, it should take you to the website. And I'm out of the 125 Concealer. We all have done something we are not pleased with, but give yourself permission to forgive yourself. That's right, Miss Wilson. And and understand, y'all. And guess what? You gonna mess up again later on down the down the line. Okay. We ain't nobody perfect. We make mistakes. That's what that's that's how we made. That's what we do. But here's the thing, y'all. You have to understand the mistake. Understand why it was wrong. Understand that you don't want to make that same mistake again. Okay, that that's a y'all, it's understanding. That's all it is, it's understanding. Understanding and love. When will you have more gypsy? When the order come in. I don't have a set date. Yeah, I don't have a set date. I don't know with the mail going crazy. I don't know. Okay, y'all. I just wanted to talk to y'all for a little bit this morning. My coffee. I got a little bit left and it's cold. But my soul is dark. But thank you, Miss Val and the rest of the fantastic family. Okay, Naomi. Look, Naomi. You got to keep that up, baby. You got to keep that head up, Naomi. You got to love yourself first. You have to. And, and Naomi, I know it sounds selfish, but guess what? That's not selfish. Because loving yourself first, Naomi, allows you to love others. And it also allows you to heal. It allows you to heal. It does, Naomi. Trust me on that. It allows you to heal. Okay, y'all. I'm finna go. I'm going to make me another cup of coffee. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Okay, y'all. I want to thank y'all for joining me today. <clears throat> if you ordered anything today, I'm going to mail you out right now, okay? Since the mail uh jacking up, I don't want nobody. Lord knows I don't want nobody to wait two, three weeks for their stuff, okay? So if you ordered today, I am. Uh, Naomi, people um have been writing the suicide hotline down or you could reach out to a family member here and unmistakably flawed you could reach out to me uh or anybody on on this page and uh and and if and y'all if she do reach out and and i'm just giving permission for her to call and you know reach out to anybody if she reaches out to somebody and y'all y'all don't can't talk or don't want to talk just direct her to to me or to someone else okay and 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 we will somebody gonna talk to you, Naomi. Okay, if 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 you need to. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna go. And I love y'all. Yes, you have to love yourself. Yes, you do. My sister Val, thank you for using your platform to spread love. Oh. Okay, I'm finna go. And um, I will. I'm gonna do makeup later today. Yes, we're doing makeup tonight. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna go. I love y'all. I need y'all to do something for me, especially you, Naomi, till I see y'all tonight. And y'all already know what it is. I need y'all to always, always, always love yourself, okay? 
See y'all tonight.